Hello everybody. Hi, this is Amelia. And uh, I'm Chris. Um, today me and Amelia are going to talk about a really simple family friendly game called Sushi Go. Sushi Go. Yeah, Sushi Go. And Sushi Go is a card drafting game for two to five players. However, I've played it with more than five players before and it still worked out pretty well. Um, the calculations go a little bit you know, off when you're doing it, but it, uh, it still can be played. It's a quick, little, easy, cute game. And, and Amelia is going to teach us how to play it. So, kay. Amelia, how to play this game. If you got this, this is no use. No, you got to be a little more... Like, first tell them what, what it is you need to do. How to play the game, not tell us about the individual sushis. Okay. So, what, it, what, what do you do when it's your turn? You, you try to think which one you want to put. If you're done, you give it the pile to another people. So how do you choose which one you want to take from the pile? You just do this. Oh, but how do you know which one you want? Is just choose the cute one? No, look here. How many numbers? Oh, there's a score value. Yes. So let me get this straight. It's a card drafting game. So you get a you get a pile of cards. Yes. And you look at them. Mm-hmm. And you choose the one you want. Yes. And then what do you do with the card you choose? Put it down and don't let people look. Oh. And then flip it over and then get it. Oh, okay. So you put it on the table and then you give your cards to someone else. Mm -hmm. And then you flip over the sushi and someone gives you cards, right? Yeah. Okay. And then what else? Uh, <coughs> Then you keep doing this until when? Until there's some more cards. Okay. So it depends on how many players are playing. Um, I've got a little chart here. Uh, if there's two people, then the decks are ten cards. So you have ten out of ten. We pass back and forth. And it goes up to five players, which are seven cards in each person's hand. And passing it around, passing it around until someone gets a card. Yeah. Now what are you trying to do? Just take the sushi with the the most number. Yes. Okay. Sometimes there's a little set collection as well. Like there are some sashimis, right? There's another one here. There's two piles. There's a whole bunch, right? Yeah. Now take a look at this sashimi card. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see, but what it says on there is sashimi times three equals ten. What does that mean? Uh, I don't. You don't know? Okay, how about let's go with the tempura. The tempura. Tempura says times 2 equals 5. What does that mean? Uh, because 2 looks like 5. Okay, let's try. Actually, what it means when you get 2, you, you have to get 2 of them. If you don't get 2 of them, then it's useless. But if you get two to tempura, then you actually get five points for the two cards. And five points for two cards is pretty good considering, you know, an egg nigiri is one point, or a dumpling, a single dumpling is one point. And they all have special little combos, like uh, dumplings are some collection as well. Like this one. And dumpling depends on how many you get. You get more points. This one is a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I tell you a funny one. He, um, wait, okay, it's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's happy, but he's stuck in something. Yeah, he has some seaweed wrapped around him, right? Yeah. Okay. He's still happy. All right, so that's how to play the game. It's a card drafting, you get a handful of cards, you choose one, you pass it around, you try to get the biggest score. Do you want um, to see to play it? No, we're not going to play it right now. I'm sorry, okay? But I'm going to ask you, why do you like this game? Because you can pass it around. Okay, you just like to pass things around? What makes this game better than just if I, let's say I just take some little pieces of paper and we pass them around. Why is this game better than just passing little papers around? Uh, and, and, and it makes people fun. 
Also, it's fun. That's what you like about it. Okay, do you th can you think of anything that is not good about this game? Um, if I lose? If you lose, yeah. Any game where you lose is not good to lose, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's just a poor loser, right? Now, my comments on this is, it's a kid-friendly game. So, if you're looking for something big and fill an evening, this is not going to do it. But it's one of the filler games that you can throw in between your game nights where you're... And we have a lot... And you can play it with a girl, the little kids. Like, I play it with her. And how old are you, Amelia? Five. Five years old. And we've been playing this, she and I, and, and her brother for more than a year now. So, maybe two years, almost two years. And now. we already have a lot of board games. Yeah, we have a lot already. But most of them she can't quite handle yet. She doesn't quite like to focus for that long. Like but this, this is good for one. her. Okay. Like this one, I didn't want to just keep reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it for Sushi Go. It's a quick little card game. Oh, I should tell you actually, it's made by Game Run. It comes in a metal one. container. And for eight players, eight, uh, ages eight up and two to five players. And that's it for Sushi Go. And say bye-bye. 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 And there's still one more.